New evidence tonight, there are enough American scientists in this country to fill job openings in science and engineering and in science and engineering companies, despite many industry claims to the absolute contrary. Those companies actively discourage uh, the American workers by keeping wages lower than they would otherwise be without foreign workers being imported. They keep wages low by exploiting visa rules and bringing cheap foreign workers into this country. Bill Tucker has the report. This fact from the National Science Foundation highlights a serious problem. The number of foreign postdocs has increased by 52% since 1996, whereas the number of U.S. citizen and permanent resident postdocs has grown by 9%. The conventional wisdom is that that data shows a shortage of scientists and a dire need to bring in as many foreign scientists on H-1B visas as we can. Science professionals see it very differently. Beryl Bindley writes a monthly column for science careers on science labor force issues. There is no shortage of people. There are thousands of people uh, who cannot find careers as scientists after they've been through years of training. Studies from the Urban Institute, the Pratt School of Engineering at Duke University, the Alfred P. Sloan Foundation all agree. The United States produces more scientists annually than science jobs. There is no shortage reflected in the pay they receive either. Ellis Research Services, which has been doing wage studies in the science and engineering fields for 20 years, has consistently found pay for scientists to be in line with or lower than the average for all fields. There's no premium to these careers. And at the same time, what's happened is that there's been an increase in the risk to those workers, right? As uh, employers uh, cut, for example, benefits, as employers start to look to move work overseas and a lot of science positions are vulnerable to being moved overseas. In other words, there's a disincentive for choosing a career in science. The first thing the Obama people should do is take a hard look, uh, ignore the PR and take a hard look at what's really going on in terms of wages and job opportunities in science today. There are winners, just not the scientists. A typical postdoc in their early 30s, after years of school, earning a PhD, will earn about $35,000, maybe $40,000 a year in a research position. Helping keep those wages low, the fact that research institutions have unlimited access to H-1B visas, and according to Ron Hira, some 60% of postdocs are foreign students, Lou, here on guest worker visas. Yeah.